Yo, what is going on guys? Drake here with Unlock Boots official YouTube channel and in today's video we have a tutorial for you guys how to unlock a Samsung Galaxy S10 model that is locked to T-Mobile. So this is a quick and easy tutorial. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to show you guys that the phone is actually unlocked. So I'm going to try to send a text message to myself actually, and it clearly is not sending as you guys can see there. So the phone is locked. Let's move on. Now we're going to need the IMEI number. This is a 15 digit number and go to your dialer app, type in star pound zero six pound, and here you'll get this number. Make sure you have this number as we will need it on our website in the next step of the process. So go to store.unlockboot.com and you will see our website. Once you're on our site, go ahead and click unlock. Scroll down until you find Samsung. And once you find Samsung for service, make sure you click the carrier that you have. In this case, the S10e lock to T-Mobile. So we're going to scroll down here and find this real quick. Next, you're going to want to enter in the IMEI number. Again, this is the 15 digit number that we just brought up before. So make sure if you copied it, paste it in, or just type it in, and that way you are good to go for the next step. Finally, click unlock now, and then complete checkout. Following completing checkout, you would then wait within the time period that is stated. When you check out, you should receive an email confirmation, and then you receive the email for your actual unlock service to be complete. So as we said, this method of unlock is via remote unlock. So our unlock boot technicians will be the ones that will help you unlock your phone after you connect your phone to USB on a PC. Next, after we do that, we're going to make sure that we have everything needed, which is our USB cable, a PC, and make sure that your phone is on developer mode. To do this, just go into software information, type build number a bunch of times, go back, scroll down, and then you can find the developer options. And here we're just going to turn on USB debugging. And this is the way that we can unlock our phone via our remote unlock. So next, go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your computer as well as your phone. And then make sure that uh, when USB debugging option comes up, make sure you click OK and always allow. Next, we are going to go to our PC here and I'm speeding it up, but uh, you're going to follow the steps that we give you in the email to connect to our technician here. And it takes less than five minutes, literally just takes a couple of minutes for us to complete service. And after that is done, then you will see that it says the servicing of the device has finished. So this means our unlock is done. Now all we need to do is turn off our phone, remove the current SIM card, in this case the T-Mobile SIM card, put in the new SIM card from a different carrier. This is an AT&T SIM. Now we're going to put it back in our phone and turn on the phone. Now once you turn on the phone, go ahead and try it out. You can make a phone call or send a text. As you can see, I sent another text and it double sent. And it says if this text sends and the phone is unlocked, congratulations, the phone is unlocked. That was it for the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. Signing off is Drake with Unlock Boot, and we we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.